Hey everybody, Michael Fisher with Pocket Now at MWC 2013, still at the ASUS booth, and we couldn't help but stick around for one more video uh, featuring the new ASUS phone pad, this time comparing it with the also ASUS built Nexus 7. Let's take a look. So just taking a look at the hardware here real quick, you can definitely tell that these devices were built by the same manufacturer. The same design language is in effect here, including the uh, very comparable thickness and these kind of scalloped sides as we get toward the edges of the devices. Big difference, of course, is in the finish with the rubbery soft touch on the back of the Nexus 7 feeling uh, a bit more durable than the metal here on the uh, phone pad. Uh, this is titanium gold, by the way. Also, ugh, I always do that. This is champagne gold, by the way. Always also available in um, titanium gray. But uh, also, well, before we leave the back of the device, we can see that in addition to the ASUS branding, the Intel inside is called out here, and this is a processor difference we should call out. The Nexus 7 powered by Integra 3, whereas the ASUS phone pad is powered by an Intel Atom Z2420, uh, clocked at 1.2 gigahertz. So we'll go ahead and flip these around. You'll notice the volume and power standby keys are not on the same side on these devices. We also have a removable panel up here on the phone pad where the uh, micro SIM and micro SD card slot live not in evidence obviously on the Nexus 7 which does not feature expandable memory. Coming around to the front, go ahead and unlock the device. These devices are both running Android Jelly Bean but one of them, namely the Nexus 7, is running the latest version at 4.2 because it is a Nexus device. The phone, the phone pad running the earlier 4.1.2 probably but not definitely because of uh, the ASUS customization layer here. Also, you obviously you can notice that in the notification shade and in other areas like the keyboard. If you go ahead and hop into the messaging application, you can go ahead and tap away and you can see that keyboard is a very, very different experience than something like the stock keyboard right there. And of course, the most prominent difference, the earpiece to the left of the 1.2 megapixel camera for the front-facing side, which these units share. The ASUS phone pad has the earpiece up top, so you can use it to take calls at your head if you're into that kind of thing. Otherwise, as I say, these panels are identical, 1280 by 800. Uh, many other specs are the same, and let's not forget these do come from the same manufacturer, so that shouldn't surprise us. But uh, it's all gonna come down to whether you want a stock Google experience or you want the ASUS customization layer with the earpiece, of course, and expandable memory, among a few other details. Just a quick look. Michael Fisher here with Pocket Now. That's Tony behind the camera looking at the ASUS products here at MWC 2013. And this isn't the end of them. Stay tuned for a lot more.